All right, I want to welcome you guys back to Griffin's Industrial Welding School. My name is Mr. Griffin. Today we're going to go over how to disassemble a TIG torch. Okay, whenever you've been doing TIG and you want to disassemble your torch, first thing you want to do, you can take off your cup as long as the cup is not uh, hot. Take off your cup, you just unscrew it. Okay. Whenever you're done taking your cup off, uh, you can also take off your collet. This is called a collet body. Okay. So this is the tungsten itself. This piece is the tungsten itself. You normally want to keep this sharp like a pencil. Until it's sharp like a pencil. This is what we call a thoriated tungsten. It has the red tip. Okay, this one is actually radioactive. Uh, this right here is what we call a collet. And this is a collet body. Okay. This is your cup. This is a size seven cup that we have right here. Okay. Some people also like to take the cap off. This is what keeps everything in place. This is your cap. Okay. Okay. So this is simply how you disassemble your TIG torch. Now normally this would be done, you don't necessarily have to do this in the shop. Uh, you can be, you know, when you're completely done welding and everything is disconnected and you just want to take your TIG torch apart, you can normally do this uh, in a classroom area or, you know, so on and so forth as long as everything is cooled down and you're good to go. Today we're going to go over how to disconnect your TIG torch whenever you've been doing TIG welding, okay? The first thing that you always want to do is turn off your gas, your 100% argon. So you want to close it up, okay? You want to open up your TIG torch to make sure all the gas is bled out, okay? When you look at your gauge, it should read zero, okay? When your gauge reads zero, that means you've bled all the gas out. Then you close this piece up. Okay. Once that is closed, you're all set as far as closing the, the tick torch. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to disconnect your leads. So we're going to disconnect our ground wire and disconnect our electrode holder. Okay, so the first thing you do is take the electrode holder off of the adapter. Okay. Once you take that off, then you want to disconnect it here. Okay. The electrode holder, just want to wrap it around real tight just to make sure it's not a tripping hazard for you. And the ground wire, you want to disconnect that and wrap that around real tight as well to make sure that is not a tripping hazard for you. Okay. Once you have these two disconnected, you want to turn your machine off. Okay, the machine should be completely off. Then you want to disconnect this piece, which connects the foot pedal. Once you disconnect that, you can roll up your foot pedal. This, your foot pedal is right here on this side. And you normally just want to wrap this up nice and tight so it's not a tripping hazard as well. So you can just wrap this up real nice and tight. Okay. All right, and then at the very end, you want to disconnect the holes for your gas. Okay, this is the hole that connects the adapter to the gas tank. You want to disconnect this. And disconnect it here as well. OK. 
Okay. Once you have this disconnected, you're pretty much all set. You have everything disconnected from your TIG torch. That's all you pretty much need to know when it's time to disconnect the TIG torch when you guys are no longer TIG welding. All right, remember here at Griffin's Industrial Welding School, if you have any other questions on how to disassemble welding equipment, no matter if you're using stick, MIG, TIG, flux core, drop a comment below and maybe we can make a video out of your question. Uh, and remember here at Griffin's Industrial Welding School, we're more than just an educational facility. It's a lifestyle.